The Wright's test tests for restrictions at the pectoralis minor for the neurovascular bundle as it goes down into the arm. And so it's one of the last successful tests that tells us whether we have restriction for thoracic outlet syndrome. The test essentially goes like this. You're going to bring your arm out to the side or abduct it up to close to your ears or 180 degrees and then extend it or bring it back as far as you can. While you're doing that, I'm going to be testing the radial pulse. So I'll start by holding my hand onto the radial side of your wrist and then we'll go through the sequence. Does that sound okay to do? So I'm going to come and stand behind the table. Bring your arm back just a little bit so that I can get a read on the radial pulse. There it goes. Okay, now you bring your arm all the way up, abduct it until it comes all the way up by your ear, 180 degrees, and then bring your arm back as far as it feels comfortable, so you're getting a bit of a strain, and what you're doing is, if I can just touch through here, is just getting a bit of a shortening through the pectoralis minor that's pushing down, and sure enough, I start getting, even in this case, a restriction and reduction of the radial pulse, and that is Wright's test.